hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope that you are doing well in this video which will be i hope short we will do a book review which is uh, caucasian yoga from stefan colonna walensky i um, don't know if i pronounce that name correctly but here we, here we go okay so this is a book that i've known about for a while um Right now, I don't have the time to tell you how I ended up buying this book. Probably is of no interest. What is important is to share uh, this book review. Maybe you are interested in it and you have to be prepared if you are interested in it, what to expect. Okay, so this is my own experience. I did not contact anybody or anything to tell me how to do these exercises. Basically, I found the book. I read the book. I studied it. I did a lot of shamanic journeying in order to understand how to use it, how to um, apply that knowledge and uh, how to suit it for myself. Um, just from the start, I would have to say that this is a dangerous book to practice, mostly because it implies breath work. And if you are a noob in the field and if you try to force your lungs and the such, you will create health problems. So right from the start, if you decide to practice this book, um, I recommend you to, at least for a month, uh, practice extended long breaths, okay, and do it very easily because your body needs to adjust. You right now, as the way you are, you are breathing in a certain manner with a certain rhythm. Doing Caucasian Yoga will change that rhythm. And we don't want to force the body or to do anything wrong you need to cause you problems so basically if you decide to practice any type of magic in this caucasian yoga book what is in it you will do it at your own risk i am putting this straightforward out there you are doing it at your own risk nobody will be there to hold your hand to pat your back to say that you are doing very well or that you are doing things badly you will have to rely on your intuition, on your spiritual experience and knowledge and the knowledge that you have of your body and how much you can handle. If you don't know these things or if you don't know your body, how much you can handle certain things, then please be aware that you may end up causing problems to yourself. I want to expose those risks because I don't want you to just follow me, okay, I know this girl, Nico, on the internet who is doing certain ritual, rituals or practices or experiments and to feel the need, okay, I have to do it as well because let me tell you, I will not be there to help you or to tap your back or anything. You will be alone on your own and you, and you will be the responsible person for doing or engaging in such a practice like i am myself for me okay so ju just putting this out there so how did i practice this book this book is composed of seven arcanes in each arcane you have a certain breathing exercise that you have to do at the same time with the breathing exercise you have to sit in a certain position with your body and also to visualize certain colors and things as you do them. Uh, these arcanes are in succession. They are said that if you do them, they will awaken certain powers within you. And uh, they are not very easy because the manuscript that Stefan Colonna Walensky left, it's a bit uh, hard to read. So you have to study really well. Uh, the manuscript in order to understand what you have to do okay so uh, i decided to practice i ended up uh, when i decided to practice back in the day 
I ended up uh, starting with Arcane 1 on Monday, for example. And on each day you do one Arcane, yes? So um, on my Monday I started with the first Arcane, then the next day with the second Arcane and so forth. And then when I finished the Arcanes, I restarted the process all over again. On each day, for example, if you start with Arcane 1, on each day you have to do each Arcane twice. Twice because you breathe throughout the, day, throughout the day, through the left nostril, which is the moon breath, and then the breath switches and you breathe through the right nostril, which is the sun breath. And you have to check your breath during the day and you have to do each arcane while you are on these two breaths and basically you do the same thing for the next arcanes also at least that's the way i do them okay so this is the practice if you buy the book studied it you will know what you have to do the results i practice this uh, type of yoga uh, for myself but I am not consistent with it mostly because of the results and I will explain why um, in the first month when I started to practice this the main problem was that during the arcanes while I was practicing them I started to experience um, temporary leg paralysis like i don't know if you practice for example lucid dreaming and then you wake up from the dream and you have that sleep paralysis you cannot move the body till the subtle body um, it is said to arrange with your physical body so that's kind of the same sensation that happened to me and another friend of mine while practicing these are kings so we got during the exercises small temporary sensations of paralysis okay or uh, for example in certain parts of the body we felt as if we got many needles pointing in that direction which were actually painful but then they passed as we continue to practice obviously we were very careful and we did not uh, pump our lungs with oxygen or nothing like that we started very slow we didn't ended up i mean in the beginning i did not respected that 7171 breath uh, ratio okay i started slowly because i didn't want it uh, to cause damage to my body but then I ended up with the full uh, ratio of breath work so that's the first thing that happened to us uh, other things that happened to us were the fact that we started to see things in the corner of our eyes we started to see things overimposed over the environment and the, the problem is that it's not something that you can control it happened randomly and imagine yourself being in a meeting where you have to present certain things to a lot of people and you are the spokesperson in that meeting and imagine in just a blink of an eye your image starts to get distorted and you start to see and perceive other things in the middle of the meeting um, and it was not pleasant at all other things that happened to me but not to the other person was that i felt after a while after i think two weeks of practicing it i felt a huge pain in the solar plexus i did a shamanic journey and uh, tried to figure out what that was and obviously that was a blockage that i had which was starting to heal i suppose and uh, after that two period uh, two week period after practicing it 
I had so much pain in the solar plexus that I thought that probably in two or three days I'm just pretty much dead and I'm not even joking it was a horrific horrific pain and obviously I have a like a double persona I have a modern modern persona like so and um, what I do in terms of magic I usually keep for myself and I could not tell people what was happening to me I just had to smile and continue throughout the day and uh, behave like nothing happened although I could barely stand up so um, one night the pain got really really bad and I thought okay this is it at least I tried I practiced I am happy that I tried and I felt this electric at first I felt this rumble this noise rumble at the base of my spine and I thought this this is it like <laughs> there's nowhere to go from here and in a split of a second I just saw how this electricity starts building up in my body and hit me directly in the head and I was knocked off I blacked out I don't remember what happened I don't remember anything at all but I woke up thank God <laughs> uh, the next day I woke up and I am very happy that I'm still here doing my stupid experiments and um, yeah the pain was gone I was like a new person I know what the hell happened but I did not see during that process anything I don't remember anything just that I was knocked over and um, I was scared as hell I stopped the practice immediately I <laughs> did not want to have anything to do with Caucasian yoga and then I decided okay let's see how far can I go next because that's the way I am you know and uh, yeah that's what happened pretty much then I started to practice again this time I did not have any pain or anything probably my solar plexus block was gone at this point I hope and uh, I started to do the practice more easily I was very patient with my body I did not do anything to force it I did very easily and softly the practices uh, I also took days off okay obviously I was scared at this point but I still practice it softly from time to time the problem was that um, I started to see these geometrical patterns in the air at random times which blocked my physical view I guess I don't know how to explain this um, and this happened usually when I was at work and again made me very uncomfortable because I could not function with that type of vision uh, at work I, I just could not pay attention to my task and at the same time see things in the air I just could not do it so right now like I've said I practice this system I know for sure for, uh, at this point that this is a powerful system no wonder that Stefan Colonna Walensky wanted to have this system published after his death because it contains obviously certain secrets but um, yeah it's a powerful one do I recommend it like I've said 
many times before you have to do it at your own risk and see what happens okay so nobody will be there to hold your hand or to help you you have to remember that okay so this is the review obviously there are more things that happened but i want to keep them private um and uh, as you can see if you practice magic certain things may happen but you have to be consistent with the practice for them to happen if you are just a weekend magician nothing will happen that will rock your world also keep in mind put your safety first okay don't be stupid in some cases like i was and uh, yeah that's this is my review and uh, take care have a nice day